Hello everyone, Sean here with Apollo. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace a brake disc on an Apollo Ghost. Chaining a brake disc could be necessary if the disc is somehow bent or damaged, but this isn't something you'll need to do very often. If you've ever had to change a flat tire on your Ghost, then you're likely already very familiar with this process, as it covers a lot of the same steps. I will be working on the rear wheel, but the process is exactly the same for the front. For this repair, you'll need just one Allen key, a Phillips screwdriver, and an 18mm wrench. I will also show you how to remove a stripped or damaged screw, in which case you'll also need a rotary tool or grinder, and you may also want to put down some protective covering so that you don't scuff or scratch your deck while doing this repair. First step will be to unscrew the two small brackets holding the motor cable in place underneath the left side of the suspension arm. You can gently pull on the motor wire a bit to gain a bit more slack, making it easier to pull the wheel hub off later. Next, remove the nut on each side of the suspension arms holding the wheel hub in place. And you may be able to simply slide the entire assembly off at this point, but we find it's easier to remove the fender first and then take off the notched washers holding the hub in place. It's very important to place these back on later to ensure the wheel does not move while you're riding. Once you have removed the wheel and placed it on your deck, you will see six screws holding the brake disc in place. They will likely have a little bit of thread locker or Loctite on them, so be sure to use enough force to turn the screws without accidentally stripping them. If you do accidentally strip them, don't worry, I'll show you how to remove those as well. If you do have a stripped screw, you'll need a rotary tool like the one I'm using here. Be sure to wear eye protection for this part. You can use a disc attachment to grind a small slot or wedge into the screw, and then use a flathead screwdriver to remove. Now that your old brake disc is off, you can put the new one on, but be sure to check the directional arrow printed on one side of the disc, and ensure it matches with the directional arrow on the tire. It's very important both arrows are spinning in the same direction. Now you can reattach your brake disc by inserting the screws in a star pattern to ensure the disc is sitting flush against the motor, and it's a good idea to add a little bit of Loctite to the screws again to ensure they don't come loose while riding. Once all the screws are attached again, give them one final twist to tighten them. Now that your new brake disc is attached, it's time to mount the wheel hub back on the suspension. Before you mount the wheel hub, double check that you haven't lost any other washers in the process. There should be one other washer on each side of the axle that go on the inside of the suspension arms. If those are still in place, you can mount the wheel hub back and you'll notice that the axle is not perfectly rounded, so it will go in only one way. Once the wheel is back in place, you can grab the notched washers and put them back on and attach the fender on the outside of those washers. Finally, add the nuts back onto the axle, and this would be another good time to add just a little bit of blue Loctite to the threads to ensure they don't come loose later. Give them all one final twist to ensure they're on tight, and voila, that's all there is to it. You've now successfully changed your first brake disc. We hope this video has been very helpful in walking you through the process, but if you have any other questions or need further assistance, our support team is always happy to help. Be sure to like and subscribe for more repair videos and scooter-related content, and we hope you have a safe ride.